So here's the thing. Many years ago, I taught myself to draw. And I got reasonably good at it, and I haven't made any further attempts um, for four, three or four years, I imagine. And yesterday, I decided to have another go at drawing something. And before I tell you what that was, I'd better just explain my recollection of learning to draw. And a big barrier is getting over your own perception and cognition. Because as human beings, we see what we expect to see. So, for example, if you're drawing a building, and the building has a door and windows, and the corners meet at right angles, you know that in reality they do. And you're drawing that building from an angle. You have to fight against the powerful instinct to see the window as something which is a rectangle where all the corners meet at right angles but because of course when you stand at an angle that is no longer the case so you you have to look carefully at the angles and the proportions and try and record those on paper because that is what you are actually seeing not what you are perceiving so i decided that i would have a go at doing a quick sketch of a profile view of Donald Trump. Now, the perception of the human head is that there is some volume above the eyebrows. In other words, that's where you know, all the sort of intellect and brain and left lobe and right lobe and the thinking stuff goes on. And when you, when I got a profile picture of Trump from the internet and I looked at it, I had to study the proportions and the angles very carefully in order to get over this normal expectation that a person has a brain. So, once I'd gotten over those preconceptions, this is the result. And you can see that one of the first things that you have to take in when you are trying to draw Donald Trump is that there is very little volume above the eyebrows. <laughs>